We are at Wonderland in Milwaukee, Oregon to play nine holes of Shot Caller Mini Golf. Today's matchup, we have Justin versus Tyrell. Rules are simple. If you lose the hole, you get shocked. If we tie the hole, we both get shocked. And the Shot Caller's strength will increase with every hole and the loser will receive a special punishment. Hole one is a short dog leg right par three around a lizard. Little song. Justin would come out of the gates playing it safe, but would that come back to hurt him? With Tyrell taking the first hole, that means Justin will be receiving the level one shock. Level one shock. <laughs> hole two is a two path par three. The risky route up the turtle or the safe route around towards the hole. Justin would continue his safe play maintaining par, but Tyrell's birdie means Justin will receive the level 2 shock also. I'm starting to feel bad now. Level 2. <laughs> hole 3 is a U-shaped par 3 around a tree towards the hole. It was at this time the manager approached us asking for us to speed up our play because others wanted to play mini golf. Mind you, we have only been playing for maybe seven minutes and nobody was on the course since we showed up as soon as they opened. I told him if anyone catches up to us, we will let them pass. He seemed to not like that answer but didn't have a rebuttal, so we stormed off saying, just play faster. Now with the watchful eye of the manager, we started the rush in which created mistakes and increased frustration. Oh no! Jesus! Though Justin just lost three straight holes, we forgot to do the shock for hole three due to being rushed from the manager. This will also mess up the shocks for the next couple holes until I realize the mistake. Hole four is an uphill ramp into a swirl with two holes. One hole will put you next to the hole, while the other will drop you off near the start.
I finally made a mistake due to feeling rushed giving Justin room to come back. Nope. Three hit it. Three hit it. Just hit it hard. Nope. Nice shot. Justin scores par, not only winning the hole, but regaining a stroke from Tyrell. Because I forgot last shock, I had it set to level 3, and I would not see this air until hole 7, meaning the shocks will be one level below the hole number. Level 3. Oh. Hole 5 is a two-path par 3. There is a small tunnel underneath the snake, or take the long route around towards the hole. Justin again would seem to play this hole safe in hopes I mess this hole up. Nope. Nice shot. Nice putt. shot, Tyrell scores par and avoids yet again another shock. Well, shock four. <laughs> Hole six is a two path par three. You can risk the ramp if made in the green hole reward you near the hole or attempt to go around. All right. And with that crazy second shot, Justin is now only two strokes behind and can finally avoid a shock. Level five, wish me luck. Oh my. Hole seven is a dog leg left par three around the volcano towards the hole. this game, Justin and myself tie the hole, meaning we both get shocked. And this is also where I realize my error, so we will skip level 6 shock and go straight to level 7. Uh. Hole 8 is a candy cane shaped par 3 that also requires you to go under a bridge and avoid some rocks. Nice layup. Nope. Justin seemed to have prayed to the volcano gods for a comeback because this happened during my backswing. Oh. 
possible signs of that volcano. I know. Nice shot. I blame the volcano. With a little help from the volcano gods, Justin gains back a stroke, now down one with one hole remaining. Pew! Hole nine is a short shot up a ramp into a plinko board. Middle hole counts as a hole in one, while the side holes both count as twos. With both Justin and myself scoring birdies, we both will receive the last shot. But Tyrell gets the last laugh, winning the match by one stroke. Level 9. <laughs> Justin fell one stroke short of a comeback, making him today's big loser. As you know, I bought two dog shot collars. For Justin's punishment, he must receive the level 10 shock. Are you ready for level 10? 